So welcome back to another video guys and in this one we're gonna take a look at George Tactics and if that doesn't mean anything to you it's perfectly understandable because who is George? So George is a subscriber of the channel and has become like a, a friend and uh, we have been sharing tactics and been sharing tips on how to improve basically it it's been more him <laughs> sharing tips with me to be honest and uh, in this video we're gonna take a look at his tactics that he has been using to get to division 3 with two separate accounts and also another friend and another subscriber on the channel Tomislav has also been able to get to division 3 using these tactics and lately I have also started to use them and I did a live stream with Strasbourg using uh, one variation of the tactic last week on the live stream and I promoted from division 6 then I played one season off stream with Crystal Palace in Division 5 and I promoted with Crystal Palace. And then I played one season yesterday, Division 4 with Strasbourg and a new variation of the tactic. And uh, I was able to survive. I secured my spot after 9 games. For the final game I had to get 999 points, which is impossible because no team award that amount of points. So at least I saved my spot, but uh, promotion was out of range, unfortunately. But I'm gonna do a live stream later this week using the tactic. So if you want to tune in for that one, you're welcome to subscribe on the channel and be notified when I go live. But let's head into the tactic and take a look at how we are setting it up and how we are using it in the game. Let's go! So let's start by breaking down the team, as we usually do in these tactical videos. So Strasbourg is a 3.5 star team. It's a fairly evenly rated team with 74 forwards, 74 midfield, 73 defense. So this is the formation we're using for Division 4. And this was also the tactic I was using with Crystal Palace in Division 5 to, to get promoted from there. And as you see, it's a super defensive formation and you have to play a very specific way, especially in offense, to be able to create the chances you need to score goals. The primary function of this tactic is to play solid defense. This tactic is made basically for being able to limit Bayern Munich and France and all these good teams for having any extra space in your defense as long as you're able to eliminate personal mistakes and uh, being able to prevent 45th minute goals, 90 plus minute goals, like kickoff goals. If you're aware of those game mechanics and you're able to, to avoid them, this will be a solid, solid tactic because you won't concede that many goals or goals at all with this tactic. So that's the strength of it, right? Because if we take a look at the team right here, we have cells in goal, 80 rated goalie. In front of him, we have three central defenders. We have Mitrovic, Kone, we have Jiku. We can also use players like Sima Khan there. That's four really good physical solid players. And then you have Guilbert on the right back. You can also start Sima Khan over there. Uh, you have Kachi on the left back. You can also use Karole over there. So you have some options uh, for your defense if you have to do substitutions because, because of bad condition. So the defense is very, very solid. And in front of them, you have two anchorman defensive midfielders. You have Aholu right here. Very strong, uh, physical kind of player. Solid passer. He also has interception. And then we have Sissoko, who also is an anchorman. Very physical player as well. Take a look at the height of these players. 190 high. Very physical, strong players. And... Uh, solid defenders and they have interception both of them which really is useful for these guys who are playing in front of the three defenders right so these guys can intercept and pick up passes and in front of them you're gonna start thomason usually you're gonna start thomason that's my personal preference and thomason is the um, basically the playmaker of the midfield he is a whole player he inspires low pass, one star, he has very good passing stats, he can dribble a little bit, he has decent speed 
and he has through passing and one touch pass and also the weighted pass very important to be able to do these very accurate through balls whenever you have the chance so basically you try to play the ball up to your strikers who in my case right here is going to be Waris and Diallo you can also use Ayorke and you also have Motiba on the bench and I prefer to have Motiba alternate with Waris and then have Ayorke alternate with Diallo because Diallo and Ayorke are the tall strong physical kind of players Although Diallo is a fox in the box though, and then you have a Yorke who is a target guy, so they are different playing styles. And then Waris is very quick, he's a whole player, but he's very fast and he's able to finish a little bit. He's not like the deadliest finisher, but he can finish uh, well enough to be able to be effective for you. And then you have Motiba on the bench there, who is a goal poacher. And uh, he can also finish uh, obviously a little bit better than Waris, but I prefer Waris because of his speed. So basically what you would do here, the defense is going to be really compact. I'm going to post a gameplay video where I play against Bayern Munich and I'm able to keep the clean sheet and not concede a single shot at all. And there you can see how you play defense with this setup. So I'm not going to talk too much about that, other than you have to play no-nonsense defense for this to be effective and to try to minima like minimize uh, the effect the script is going to have. So you play it very simple. Whenever you have the chance, you just clear the ball. You can also do this manual lofted pass out on the fullback whenever you have the time and the space for it to like to free up uh, the press because often when you have the ball in the middle of the pitch right there uh, the opponent is going to put on a very intense press so you might be tempted to try to play your way out with a th with like a low through ball or a low pass don't do that <laughs> you don't have the passing ability on these players just try to clear it for a throw in as high on the field as possible or you can try to do this uh, manual lofted pass with, um, with the circle button on the PlayStation controller. Uh, just put the angle outside on the wing and just try to hit it over the pressing player and use your fullback to go with the ball. And uh, to avoid him being caught too far up on the pitch, your fullback, just try to play the ball through to your striker out on the wing with a manual through ball and then have him just run after a ball and put some press on the defense right there, try to stretch the defense, try to make the defenders work. Either you will keep possession with the player, or if the defender intercepts it, you will be able to put press on him immediately and try to force like a throw in, a corner kick, or try to force a pass back to the goalie, and that's perfectly fine, as long as you're able to free up the press from your own defense. So when you attack, you Obviously attack primarily up the middle right here and you try to do combinations. I would prefer to try to play the ball up to your strikers, uh, try to do the pass back to Thomason, either dynamic pass or regular pass back to him and then have Thomason do the through ball back to the striker again. That's the most effective way to play and then you make use of the skill that Thomason has. For me that move right there it, I think it secured either three or four wins during that season. So it was very effective and you have to take advantage of the strength of this team, which is uh, the playmaking skills of Thomason and the speed of Waris. And I just want to say right away, I take no credit for, for this tactic. I've copied this tactic from Jorge. So if you try out these tactics and they work for you, just leave a shout out to Jorge in the comment section right here. I'm sure he will appreciate it. And I thank you, George, for sharing this tactic uh, with us. As Hamza, another subscriber on the channel, said, whenever you play these tactics, you feel like a calmness about it because you know the defense and the midfielders are going to be there. If, if you lose the ball high on the pitch, there's no stress because you, have, you are so strong in defense, you don't have to worry all that much. And um, with that said, let's head into the instructions. Uh, we are playing counter-attack, short pass up the middle, maintaining formation with a one support range. And then for the defensive instructions, it's uh, all-out defense, wide containment, we have aggressive press, a one defensive line, and a 10 compactness. We just want to fall back as far as possible, 
bring our entire team back with us and just form that, uh, basically parking the bus, right? That's basically what we're doing right here. We're parking the bus in front of our own box. Advanced instruction, we are using deep defensive line and swarm the box. And that's basically just to stack the box whenever they have the ball on the wing. If your opponent has the ball on the wing and is going to try to cross it, just get everyone inside the box. And then we have the deep defensive line. Whenever we lose the ball, everyone just falls back, drops deep to avoid the long through ball over the top. Uh, another thing you should consider activating right here is um, to activate the defensive instruction for your central midfielders, your holding midfielders right here. If you are playing other players than Ahulu or Sissoko, because Ahulu and Sissoko are anchor man by playing style. So they will stay back regardless of these instruction so you don't have to put it on them but if you play someone else as the defensive midfielder uh, for example if you if you start gq right there for whatever reason uh, you should put defensive instruction on gq as the defensive midfielder so let's finish off the video by talking a little bit about your backups in the midfield. You have Leonard right here, who is a creative playmaker. He can play in the middle right there. I usually use him instead of Thomason whenever I, I use him. It's not all that often though, to be honest, because I prefer to start Thomason. And uh, you also have Bursic, who is another option. Classic number 10, also a solid option right here for you, but... Um, I guess it's a lot of like personal preference who you choose to use as your backup if it's Leonard or if it's uh, Persic. A third option I really like to use is Bellegarde who is a box to box and uh, he's a little bit more dynamic I feel like than the other guys. So Bellegarde is someone I usually put in for Thomason if Thomason is tired towards the end of the game. I put on Bellegarde right there box to box. I switch uh, the role of the attacking midfielder to a central midfielder role. Um, this guy is quick, he has good low pass, he has interception, which is really useful. So let's wrap up the video, there we have it. There are the tactics with the instructions and the video from the Bayern gameplay is also available on the channel if you want to check that out. And what do you think about it? If you have any feedback after testing these out, uh, just leave it in the comments. I'm pretty sure George would appreciate any feedback you have for him for this tactic. And I thank him very much for sharing this with me. And uh, yeah, let's wrap it up. Thanks so much for watching. Have a nice day. Stay safe. And I will see you guys in the next one.